sharpen your axes, because it's time to return to the age of Vikings. The second season of Vikings Valhalla is cresting the horizon, and we'd all better be prepared for its attack. It seemed Vikings was at an end when the original history series concluded in 2020, but it wasn't long before the show's creator, Michael Hurst, passed the torch to Jeb Stewart, who crossed the streaming seas to Netflix and gave us Vikings Valhalla, a sequel series set a century after the events of its predecessor. Valhalla introduced fans to Prince Harold of Norway and hero in the making Leif Erikson. Initially wary of one another, the two became allies to change the time of the Vikings forever. Of course, they've still got to overcome some obstacles to get there. The first season ended with Leif seeing Red and Harold on the run after Kattegat's fall, so their combined comeback will need to be epic. Travis, it's over. Netflix offered up a first look at Vikings Valhalla Season 2 during the streamer's annual To Doom event. Starting shortly after the events of the first season, Harold, Leif, and Freydis are on the run, only for Olaf to push them back to the shoreline. Thankfully, help comes from above, via an unknown ally. Is Forkbeard fending for our heroes, or has his son, King Canute, turned up at the right time? Whoever it is, they make an explosive impact. The second season will debut on January 12, 2023, but Netflix hasn't released any other trailers, keeping things close to the vest. The first season trailers hit only a few short weeks before the season was released, so the streamer seems to be taking that approach again. To Doom did offer up this brief synopsis of the season, though. Season 2 finds our heroes shortly after the tragic fall of Kattegat, an event that shattered their dreams and altered their destinies. Finding themselves suddenly fugitives in Scandinavia, they are forced to test their ambitions and courage in worlds beyond their familiar fjords. Showrunner Jeb Stewart further explained to To Doom that Harold and Leif will be traveling down the Dnieper River in an adventure he describes as similar to Thelma and Louise, while Freitas will be heading to the Baltic area of Pomerania. Stewart also promised quite an array of characters, adding, We put together this motley crew of nobles, Muslim astronomers, and con men, and they shove off from Novgorod. Leo Suter and Sam Corlett will return to lay waste to their enemies as Prince Harold and Leif Eriksson, respectively, along with Frida Gustafsson as Freitas Eric's daughter, Leif's sister. The latter has a crucial path of her own as the last daughter of Uppsala. Beyond that talented trifecta, the show will also see the return of Johannes Volker Johannesson as the side-switching contender for the throne, Olaf. Last seen threatening Kattegat and sending its protectors running, Olaf's victory was short-lived. King Canute's father, King Swain Forkbeard, appeared with a fleet of ships to bring down the treacherous tyrant. Expect all three to be returning for season two, along with the surprise return of Caroline Henderson, who played Kattegat's fallen ruler, Jarl Hawken. Speaking to Metro about her character's demise, the Swedish star quipped about whether she was totally gone from the series. We don't really know that. She might turn up as a ghost or something. If that's not enough, Valhalla will also see the arrival of an MCU star and a previous punching bag for boxing champ Adonis Creed. Florian Montianu of Shang-Chi and Creed II fame will play the part of Byzantine general George Maniakis. Bradley James of Merlin will play the leader of a particularly pagan bunch of warriors. Hayat Kamil, Markin Drokinski, and Sofia Lebedeva have also joined the cast. In an interview with Digital Spy in February 2022, Jeb Stewart revealed that even before the first season's release, the second was well into development, and he was dying to get it out there. Even before swords were drawn for the first season of Valhalla, Netflix has given the green light for a massive 24-episode 